Hello guys, welcome back to Skyline Third, and today we're gonna be doing something a little different. Yeah, you can see I have paid.net pulled up on the screen. <laughs> yeah, you'll you'll figure out what that is before. And uh So let me tell you how this all started. So picture it, I'll have a Google slide set up in the actual video, but whatever. Just imagine it right now. Uh picture this. You're sitting in your classroom, it's kindergarten, it's first grade, whatever. And your teacher is teaching you shapes. This is a triangle. This is a square. This is a pentagon. This is a hexagon. And if you're lucky, you get this is an octagon. But nine times out of ten, if you approach someone on the street and you say, Hey, what's a heptagon? They're going to say one of two things. They're going to say, they're either going to say with like a questionable answer, they're going to be like a seven-sided shape, or they're just going to straight up be like, I don't know. Today, I'm going to be drawing regular polygons for you. I'm sorry I haven't been doing much City Skylines lately. I haven't uploaded a Cities video in like three weeks. Sorry. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, share. Leave a comment down if you think I'm a good YouTuber. Like if you, like if you really like my videos. And subscribe if you're both of those. And share if you think your friend should be seeing these videos. But, uh, without further ado... We're going to start with the two least known shapes, I would think. The hengon, or monogon, and the digon. The hengon, now I will not be using this cool little shape thing up here, but I'm just showing you that this is what a monogon will look like. Now, a monogon, or a periagon, is a circle. Quite literally. Uh, let's adjust it so I get a regular, I'm going to get kind of smaller one. Do, do, do. There you go. That is a monogon. A monogon has one side. That is also kind of an imperion, or something with infinite sides. So I'm just going to go text um, one side. We're going to use hengon. Woohoo. And then we're going to be using the line tool for the rest of it. Um, And then for the digon, we're going to do this. So we're going to have straight up and down line here. Oh, this is going to be so finicky with my mouse. Uh, 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 whatever, it's 89.36 degrees, I don't care. And then we're going to do one like that. There we go. And this is a two sides Digon. There we go. Now... We're going to start using formulas for shapes. Now, for the odd number shape, triangle, uh, pentagon, so on, so on, so on, I start with a triangle, and then I go out from there. For a even-sided shape, um, square, hexagon, octagon, so on, so on, so on, what I use is I use a cross, like the digon. So, we're going to start with the line tool here, and what we are going to do is we're going to start with... I'm gonna do this. Uh, a line like slanted, like that. Then another one like that. And then one connecting the two. And for symmetry, we're gonna add, add a line straight in the middle. Actually, no, we're not, because this is just a triangle. So this is three sides. Try. Angle. If you if you if you're wondering how these name these shapes got their name, gone means from means from side and and the prefixes hen die try whatever that means the number. So hen gone is like one side in like Greek or Latin or something. And for angle, I'm pretty sure you can figure that out on your own. But whatever. Uh, three sides triangle. Now we're gonna start ramping things up with a square, or just any type of quadrilateral. I'm going to put two examples, one for square, one for quadrilateral. For the quadrilateral, we're just going to draw four random lines. And that is literally a quadrilateral. A quadrilateral is literally just a four-sided shape. Anything you can think of that doesn't have cur curved lines, because if it has curved lines, it is not a polygon. Four sides quadrilateral, and 
and if I completely delete the spellings of this, if I completely make them terrible, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I do my best. Um, so this is the first one we're going to have to kind of get iffy with. Because I like having my things symmetrical. So what we're going to do is we're going to go straight down here. We're going to make 98 pixels long. That means starting right there. We're going to go across at a zero degree angle. Or 98 pixels. Perfect. Now we're going to start here. Go across. Four. Guess what? How many? 98 pixels. There we go. Now, we're going to go like this. But guess what? How many? 98 pixels. There you go. Kind of overran the edges there a little bit, but... So this is four sides square. All right, this is where things start ramping up. So what we're going to do is we're going to, since I'm lazy and I don't want to do, actually, no, I'm not lazy. I'm going to do it by hand. Um, To make a pentagon, I always start with the base. I always start, start with a, uh, uh, that's white, uh, 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 I don't like it. We always start with a triangle. So again, we're going to go boop, boop. Mind you, th this is just a guide shape. I'm going to erase all of this except the bottom side. And also, ouch, that. Get away from me. There we go. And now, again, for symmetry, since this is not the actual shape, it's going to be, this is just the base of it. We're going to add a line straight up through the middle. Combine Dividing one triangle into, into two triangles. And now what we're going to do is we're going to divide those triangles roughly in half. Into a right trapezoid. Which I will end up... I'll probably do another one of these in the future with, I don't know, more advanced shapes. But... <sighs> for, for now we're going to divide it up like this. And now we're going to go roughly 90 degrees to the side and then just go out from that point again roughly 90 degrees from the side and go out however however um far you want to and now we're going to create the sides of the pentagon we're going to go from this point here up and ugh, i did not make the line long enough but uh hold on that's the magic of the undo button, whatever. Again, roughly 90 degrees. Sorry, you're having to see this all again, but and roughly 90 degrees. It's because if I had I done that like that, like it would have been like a right pentagon, and I do not want that looking like a right pentagon. But again, go from there to there, and then from this side to this side, and then you you guessed it, connect up to these. And then you're, you're probably wondering, what do we do with the stuff in the middle? Well, I'm fixing to show you. Go over here. We've got to reverse those. So white is our primary. We should absolutely make this massive. That's a bit too big. But, uh, uh, I cannot have my anti-aliasing on. I hate anti-aliasing. There isn't... Yeah. Anti-aliased is terrible. I like my aliased ones. I hate the blocky stuff. Now, it's okay if I don't do it perfectly. This is a video showing you roughly how to make shapes, not a tutorial on how to make perfect shapes. How to roughly make them. I, my pentagon looks really weird and wonky, but you get the, hopefully, you get the gist of how to make it. So, if I, uh, oh yeah, it's because I had it in uh, white. There we go. Flip that back. Make sure, make sure you do that. Five. Oh, I my I do not like my text alias though. Five sides. <sighs> Pentagon. <sighs> Beautiful. Next is a hexagon, which we're gonna use. Where we're gonna use that cross. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the line tool again, and like we do with the square, we're gonna go ah. Uh, 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 that does not look good. We're going to... <laughs> oh, wait. 
I gotta make that 12 turn. Whatever, backspace. Also, I said two, but backspace. Oh, come on! Uh, whatever. You didn't see anything. <laughs> you didn't see anything. Now, before we do that, go to two, and like we do with the uh, square, we're gonna go ah. Uh, Again, I gotta remember to switch that color. It also now it looks disgusting. Why does that not work? That should work. And I don't know why it doesn't. Beautiful. And again, turn my aliasing back on because I like it for my shades too. Okay, back on track. Um, Now we go like that. Again, 98 pixels. Straight up. And now, a reasonable distance away. So, I don't know, like here. We do the exact same thing. No, try. It might be hard to do the exact same thing. Just try. Just try. You, you, you. Believe in yourself. There we go. Now what we're gonna do, I know it looks a bit lopsided, but we're gonna start here, and we're gonna go to here. Also, 98 pixels. Actually, I might make this one a bit longer, because if we do 98 pixels, then it's gonna be right there-ish. Shouldn't go there. And we're gonna go at zero, z zero degrees. You're, you're, you're seeing this right. Zero degrees. <laughs> now what we do is we go from here to here. Basically, when we're done with the frame and we start drawing it, basically the frame are just the points. I don't care if I'm not calling them vertices, but that's not what they're called in my book. My book's my brain. But, yeah, they're, it's just the points of the... Uh, also, ooh, <laughs> that. That boy looking chunky. Why he look like that, though? That's probably a bit too much, but... Uh, uh, uh. There we go. Just fit in. Yeah. Shame touches. After this, we have two... After we're done with this one, we have two more. Yes. I know so uh, uh, so many to do, but come on, bear with me, guys. This is a hexagon, which is my personal favorite shape, because as I said in the intro, nobody knows about it. It's the heptagon. So let's do this. Since I'm absolutely terrible at drawing shapes, as you can see, uh, after I do the my heptagon, which usually doesn't turn out too well, sometimes it can, I will put the procedurally generated he heptagon in here. So for the heptagon, uh, 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 there we go. And again, go down, and then make a little line. Just go like that, whatever. It's not a pencil, so I can't erase things. I mean, I can, but you know what I mean, hopefully. And now what we're going to do is, again, we're going to divide it in half. Then in half again. I didn't make a... I did not make a thing right there. So tedious when you, do, when you don't have an uh, alias thing on, because then you have to get rid of every last pixel. Whatever, back on track. Now, each time you make a new polygon, you add, you add a step. You started with this for a diagon, then you connected the sides for a square, and then added another bar in the center. Or the, no, then you moved the two uh, 
sidebars in on the square and then added one in the middle for the hexagon. Now for the triangle, what you did is you went from a triangle, then you added some markings on the edge. And now what you're going to do is you're going to add markings and a side. So normally, uh, as you're doing, we're going to have this. You're going to do, do. Now, no, 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 no. You have to add an extra side. So in there, you got to go like this. That gets you a little extra side up in there. Little extra side action. That's what I call that. Um, ESA, baby. Then we just do it over on the... Dang it. Do it over on the other side. Woohoo. And again, just up at, again, roughly a 90 degree angle. It doesn't, it'd be nice if it was perfectly a 90 degree angle, but it does not have to. Then again, you go point or corner to corner. That's the word I was looking for earlier. Again, just like the hexagon, why is this boy so chunky? But that actually has to be one of the best heptagons I have ever done. Going to make a fat little brush and go do 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 do. Right. Yeah, favorite shape. There we go. And do 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 do. I remember. I remember this time. Seven sides. Yeah, it's a good heptagon. Heptagon. All right, time for our, oh oh yeah, I forgot. I gotta do the uh, other heptagon. Not that. Go and you see here's the heptagon. If I add one in, and we just go sixty two by sixty. That, that's what a normal heptagon looks like. Um, I wasn't too far off. Uh, next, we have the octagon, which is basically just a fatter hexagon. Do the, uh, 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 uh. That's how you erase it. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You just do that. Okay, whatever. Um, 90 degrees at 96 pixels. Precisely. Uh, uh. And again, reasonable distance. This one, I'm just not going to worry about the 1 at 96 pixel rule. And to the fact that it has to be at perfectly 90 degrees, almost 0 degrees. But just work on... So first, you make a tic-tac-toe board. So as a matter of fact, it might be easier for you to go download a tic-tac-toe board and then just trace out the edges. But that is not what I did, because I just now realized that you could do that. And then, again, you trace edges. Look at that. Beautiful. Then you can play a nice game of tic-tac-toe while you're there. Which is better, X's or O's? And also, O oh, those splotches. There we go. Gotta get my little eraser out for two things. One. Doot. 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 In a second, got to erase all this, and then we'll be done. I can kind of do a nonagon, like kind of, sorta. Look, leave a like, comment, subscribe, share if you want a part two of this, because I enjoy making videos like this. And I hope you enjoy me making videos like this. And if you don't, I respect your opinion, because I know I'm not the best YouTuber in the world, but I hopefully I work out for some people. Eight sides is a octagon. <laughs> that is it. That is our beautiful, beautiful board of polygons. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, share, and goodbye. This is Skylines, or goodbye.